Hey Pokemon Champions, what's going on? It's Champion Darkblaze here, and let me ask you guys, what if you were a Pokemon Gym Leader? I've asked this question before, and it's a fun question to ask because we make brand new gyms for all of the 18 types in the Pokemon world. Whether that be a Poison type gym, a Dragon type gym, or Electric type, we make fun gyms and talk about them in the comments. And you guys are very creative with it, so let's see how you tackle the Bug type today. Today we are talking about the very diverse and recently very, very powerful Bug type in the last decade. Of course, Bugs in real life are very diverse, they are very strong, and some are extremely extremely scary, even something like Mega Beedrill in the anime is very scary. But today you have to go up against those bugs and while I don't like them in real life, I absolutely adore bug type Pokemon, some like Butterfree and Vikavolt. So with that being said, if you're ready to take on this bug type gym challenge, then let's get going. Ixel, Kimene Kimeta! Alright, I choose you! Alright Pokemon trainers, you are going to get to the bug type gym, it's going to be gym number 4, halfway through your journey in terms of badges. When you get there, it's going to resemble the gym from Castelia City with Birth. Now, his gym in the games had some similar qualities of beehives, so on the outside this gym will be designed much like a beehive, but it's going to very differ greatly when you get inside. When you get inside, you're going to find out that this gym is actually serving as a greenhouse for plants and bug type Pokemon of the like. It's more of a preservation system, preservation building for all the bug and grass type Pokemon that live in and around the city that you are currently in. However, the challenge of this gym is going to focus on the theme of diversity and the theme of ants. I'm a big fan of Ant-Man and ants, of course, are some of the strongest insects, even if I'm not mistaken, being able to lift up to three or five times their own weight. Or maybe it's, maybe, maybe it's ten times? I don't know, I don't study bugs, but they're very strong. And of course there's fire ants, so yeah, that's a little terrifying. But you get inside the gym, and the gym guide is going to say this to you, that bugs may be weak and puny in the past, or maybe they're just not reaching their full potential. But some bug type Pokemon have incredible power, some like the Scolipede line. So he says you're gonna have to watch out for these bugs, and also, are you good at guessing? Because you may need to do a little bit of guessing in this gym. You start your gym challenge and what you're going to have to do is pick a door. There's going to be three doors presented before you and you just pick one. Whatever door you pick, you're going to have to go through hallways that resemble ant hallways if you look at an ant hill, you know, like if you look through the little box thing and you see all the ant hills, how they walk around in there. So you start walking in the hallway and if you pick a wrong door, you're going to get teleported instantly back to the start of the gym. So if you choose a wrong door, it could cost you maybe 10 minutes of progression. However, when you choose a door successfully, you're gonna battle one gym trainer. There's gonna be about four you're gonna have to take down. And let's get to the Pokemon that you need to battle in this gym. They are of course going to include the Scolipede line, the Galvantula line, the Vikavolt line, Beedrill line, and Excelgore and Escavalier. However, once you defeat all those Pokemon and get to the final challenge in the gym, which is not me, it's going to be right before me, you're gonna go up against an Ace Trainer. This Ace Trainer is of course going to have three Pokemon, and you're gonna go up against Volcarona, Araquanid, and a Scizor. Those are gonna be the three final obstacles before you get to the Gym Leader. Now that you've defeated all of the Gym Trainers in the Gym, it's time to take down the Gym Leader being me. This version of me, of course, specializes in Bug-type Pokemon. When you get to me, I will say these words to you. So, Challenger, you've managed to get to me, and you're gonna fight me in my Bug-type Pokemon, are you? Well, let me tell you something. Bug-type Pokemon are not to be pushed around and not to be squashed. Bug-type Pokemon are quite in fact very very strong. The diverse they've evolved over millions of years to be extremely powerful. And let me just show you what I mean by that. And then the battle will begin! So of course the battle starts, I gotta send out my very first Pokemon, that's gonna be Yen Mega. Just a side note, imagine if this thing evolved in Generation 6 with a Mega Evolution. Can you imagine saying Mega Yen Mega? That'd be so dumb, but I don't know, just a thought. So of course, Yen Mega, it's my very first Pokemon. It's got the Tinted Lens ability, and its moveset is Ancient Power, Bug Buzz, Air Slash, and Psychic. So Yen Mega is proving to have some very nice coverage moves, and it's gonna be a bit of a challenge to take down, but seeing as this is my first Pokemon, you've gotta get past it to get to the rest of my team. So you take it down, and I move on to my second Pokemon, which of course is going to be my Galissapod. This Pokemon comes out of the Alola region and is a very powerful Pokemon, being seen used by Google 
Guzma in the Sun and Moon anime, so we know it's got power to boot on this team. Of course, it's got the emergency exit ability, but it's got some very nice moves, its moveset being Liquidation, First Impression, Ice Beam, and X Scissor. This is quite a powerful moveset, good coverage, and of course you're a water type, you need Ice Beam. But you are going to take out my Galissapod, and I'll be forced to move on to my third Pokemon. My third Pokemon is the classic, powerful Butterfree. Now if you've heard me talk about Butterfree on my channel before, then you know what moveset is coming for this amazing bug flying type Pokemon. Of course, Quiver Dance, Air Slash, Psychic, Bug Buzz. This is the clutch moveset that I've said I've used in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, and it sweeps through the Kanto region. So let's see if you can take it down. And of course, it's going to use the Z move for bug type Pokemon. So not only are you dealing with a powerful Butterfree with compound eyes, you're dealing with a Z move that it can launch as well. And it could be from bug type, but it could also be from flying or psychic. So you don't know which exact Z move you could get. But of course, you do take down my Butterfree, and I gotta move on to my ace Pokemon. Well, Challenger, I see your Pokemon have evolved quite nicely as well over your journey. But even though your Pokemon are evolving themselves, let me show you what true evolution looks like in a bug type Pokemon. Heracross, let's go! My final ace Pokemon is going to be the amazing Heracross coming out of the Johto region. It's got the Guts ability with the clutch moveset of Aerial Ace, Brick Break, Mega Horn, and Stone Edge. But if you thought that was going to be tough, and that you thought a bug like Heracross would be easy to take down, which it's not, it's also going to Mega Evolve into Mega Heracross. So can you take down not only a Z-move using Butterfree, but now a Mega Heracross? I am very certain you can take down my Heracross, which you do, and that's my final Pokemon. So you've thus defeated me. Upon defeating me, I will say these last words to you. Well there, trainer. It seems you've raged your Pokemon quite well on your journey so far, but you've got a long way to go if you're going to get to the Pokemon League. Your Pokemon need to keep evolving in the same way that bug Pokemon evolve over millions of years. So try to reach your full potential and keep evolving, keep growing, and keep getting stronger on your journey. After those words are said, you will be awarded the TM for Bug Buzz, and on top of it, you now have earned your fourth gym badge being the Colony Badge. Having earned the Colony Badge, you are now on your way to gym number 5, and maybe I'll see you again someday. Who knows? So there we go, Pokemon Champions. That's what I would do if I was a Bug-type gym leader. Of course, Bug-type Pokemon ever since Generation 5 have only continued to get stronger, get more buffs, get better moves, and they are evolving and growing as they do in real life. They are continuing to get better. Many people will think that a Bug or Bug-type Pokemon are something you can just walk around and squash like a... The ant bully. But, like the movie says, you can't do that. Bugs are extremely powerful. But I do hope that this gym offered quite a challenge for you, and I can't wait to see what bug type gyms you guys can create down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, like, share, and subscribe for more fun Pokemon content every Tuesday and Friday. With that being said, maybe I'll see you in another gym, and maybe another version of me will show up. But until that time comes, train hard Pokemon champions, I'll catch you guys later.